Hello friends, welcome to video tuition. In this short HPALM tutorial, I am going to show you how we can find similar or duplicate defects in ALM. I am supposed to first launch HPALM and then go to defects tab. Once I am in defects tab, I see all the defects which have been opened for my given project. In edit menu, I find couple of options to find the defects with my search criteria and one such option is find similar defects. When I click on it, it opens up uh, another panel at the bottom of the screen. It gives me two criteria, one is search for and the other is proximity percentage. In the search for field, I enter the text string that I am looking for in the defect. And in proximity percentage, which is default to 25%, I, I am not making any changes. And I simply click on the search button. As you see on the screen, it gives me 13 records for the string that I have searched. If I increase the proximity percentage to 50, I should be seeing that the search records would have been decreased. As I see on the screen, only one record has been displayed with the proximity percentage 50 for the given search string. So this is one way of finding the defects with the search criteria that you have in your uh, mind. The another search criteria in the defect module is text search. When I click on it, it gives me only one field uh, to search the defect. I can enter the string that I look for in the defect in the search for field which is again in this case is testing and I click on the search button. As you see on the screen now here in this case I see many more records than I find in the previous option. The reason is the search text criteria uses three different fields. The very first field is comments and it uses a description and summary as in previous case also to find the uh, defect with the search string. And since in, it is also including the comment section, you see there are many more records actually added in the list. So uh, these are the options actually you can use uh, to find a similar or the duplicate defects in ALM. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If the tutorial was helpful, please do like it and share it with your friends. You would also like to visit my website and subscribe to my channel for getting the latest update. Thank you.